Hello everybody, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is the daily read for Sunday the 2nd of June 2019 and this is for all signs. So it won't resonate with everybody, it resonates with those people it re it's meant to resonate for. So just take what resonates with you and leave the rest. So we have the Angel Oracle card is Easy Does It. Your health, happiness and abundance require a gentle approach to life and work. This is the Sapphire Gem. So, easy does it. This is the Angel Oracle card, Angel Gem Oracle card, I think. Easy does it. Your health, happiness and abundance require a gentle approach to life and work. Okay. Let's see what the cards say. So, cards, what do we have, please, for Sunday the 2nd of June? 2019 and this is for all signs this is for all signs cards yeah five of swords Okay, we have the Four of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, okay, we have Judgment, okay, a couple of cards, well, too many turned over, sorry, too many there. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, I'll take those. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. I think this appeared yesterday. And the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, this is destiny. This is destiny. We have Judgment and the Wheel of Fortune. <sighs> this is... This is the planet of, of death, destruction, rebirth, transformation, and expansion, growth. These are beautiful cards. So something big, I mean, maybe big decisions that bring about real transformation as well. Because, you know, certainly the Knight of Swords judgment card can be about decisions, final decisions in some way, shape, or form. Yeah. So... Interesting cards. Some of you have conflict. There is the Five of Swords is about conflict. This can be one of those situations where there can be underlying issues, maybe in the workplace or in home or with relatives, friends. And it can be just an, uh, an uneasy feeling of... Um, almost kind of like gossip or things being said behind your back and it's almost kind of like there's an elephant in the room that needs to be brought to the surface that needs to be recognized and this is a victory card but it says it comes at a cost this comes at a cost and with judgment being here you have to be careful how you act you have to be careful certainly today in the decisions that you make in your interactions with people if you're dealing with negative situations, deal with them tactfully and honourably and respectfully because there is karma at work here. Now, with the Wheel of Fortune and judgment in, your, in this reading, certainly for some of you, this is positive karma, positive growth, real opportunity for aligning with your destiny. But don't allow this to sabotage that because I just feel if you have arguments, disputes, conflict in your external world today or a few days either side of the reading you know you might not be doing yourself justice you know and yeah just be very careful with that judgment watching you 
This can also be an internal conflict within your mind now as well. This can be conflicts from the past, conflicts where you can't put things in perspective. And the judgment card is here to really talk about making final decisions on a situation that could have held you back, that could have kept you in a, a spiral of, of, of literally negativity for quite a while. This is a real negative situation. It's not necessarily aggressive, but it is bringing out truth to the surface and almost kind of like there's a potential, you're a victor, but you lose respect. You could lose friendships, you could lose loved ones, you could lose jobs, all of those kind of things. Just be careful how you act. So, making clear decisions, certainly on, on releasing yourself from this situation. I kind of feel that there's a finality to this. Once you've made the decision, maybe once you've dealt with the situation, it does say easy, does it? You know, sometimes when the Angel Oracle card card comes out, I'm thinking, OK, hopefully that will make sense. Well, it is. It is making sense because deal with it very, very tactfully, very, very cautiously, because, you know, this is about release from a situation, positive release. It is an awakening the the, the this is Angel Gabriel for some, God's messenger or Angel Michael, God's light so this is it's about stepping into your light an opportunity to step into your light align with destiny your path most definitely certainly with the wheel of fortune and judgment here this is real destiny so don't let other situations bring you down now because there's something really beautiful on offer i mean this is major major transformation major change a major step up the next level up yeah. So, yeah, just be really cautious. The other thing about just judgment, sorry, is, is letting go. Letting go of, of past negativity. If you are feeling resentful towards somebody, just ask yourself, is it worth it? This is about seeing the bigger picture now. Certainly with these two cards here. Seeing the bigger picture. There's more things in life that are more important there are, there's your path that's more important, your journey to enlightenment, your journey to be aligned, your vibrational journey, all of those kind of things really matter now. So it is about coming into your own and not allowing other people to pull you down into something that's too real, too negative. Uh, because this... You know, the Wheel of Fortune is very much about fortune, destiny, judgment. It is associated with judgment, so be really careful. That's all I'm going to say. I've said that enough now, haven't I? So, the Four of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. This is such a beautiful card. Beautiful card. Some of you may have been struggling financially, or, or thinking that you're or just holding on too tight. There's a perception here as well, I feel. Not feeling your worth, not being valued, not being paid enough at work, not being valued enough in a relationship. All of those things can be attributed to the Four of Pentacles. There's a kind of guarded... Um, this person's kind of guarded about their heart, their head... You know, and it is it is very much about being guarded, being having that fear on moving forward, holding on too tightly to where you are now is stopping you from moving forward almost. This kind of like is is the fours are about finding stability, finding that level of solidity. But it says that there's so much more to come here. There's so much more success on offer for you. So it's time to just Trust the process, almost kind of like trust that destiny at work here as well. You're meant for so much more. That's what it's saying. It's also saying with these four pentacles, you have the earthly resources. You have the financial resources you need or you have the skills, the experience, all of that kind of thing to practically. And this is through hard work, through dedication, through focus, bring about 
real financial achievement, real material success. So don't hold back. I think this is the time to say, don't hold back. As long as you act honourably, be really careful with that five of five of swords energy. Um, as long as you act honourably, stay grounded, move forward progressively, slowly but surely. This is where you're heading. You know, the Ten of Pentacles, it's an achievement card. It's a card of success, material success, money, investment, uh, paying off job progress, car progression, career progression, bonuses, all of that kind of thing, even inheritance as well for some of you. So it's saying don't hold back now. The other thing is, is about finding your value as well. For some of you in relationship terms, the four of pent, again, this guarded energy, being guarded about your heart and your head, yeah? Not trusting maybe the process or or investing your heart in, in a situation or a relationship, not feeling that you're ready. This can be the card of solid relationships. There are generations of families here. So it kind of says if you trust the process, if you open your heart, if you stop yourself from being guarded and just go with it right now, you'll, be, you'll benefit from it. Yeah. So any opportunities that may well come up, just, just give them a fair... A fair consideration. Okay. So we have the Knight of Swords. This can be about making decisions. This can be about an idea. This is also an en as an energy. It's fast progression. Fast progression. I think as soon as you kind of like trust the process, as soon as you just release, loosen up a bit. Just understand that you can move forward in a situation. This is you moving from that Four of Pentacles energy to that Ten of Pentacles energy. The eyes, your eyes on the prize. And you're bringing about that new beginning, that new era of abundance in your life through just having that vision, being focused, having that clear mind now, you see. When judgment says let go of this, if this is in a conflict, if you're allowing negativity to grab hold of you in any way, shape or form, from arguments in your external world maybe, this is about letting that go. Because when you let that go, look how fast you move. This is the Knight of Swords, the fastest moving Knight in the Tarot deck. So this is just literally going like a, you know going right through the air, cutting right through the air to um, to the end prize. And this is the prize, the new beginning. Again, pentacles energy. A lot of earth energy here, a lot of earth energy. Um, so yeah, op the open door to new beginnings, new horizons. And this is an offer. It could be an offer of a job. It could be a solid offer could be in relationships in, in some way, shape or form. It is a general reading. Generally, it is more linked to finance and business. But I won't rule that out because there is so much earth energy here. So, yeah, there could well be business progression bonuses, that type of thing. And this is divinely guided. This is divinely guided. You are being guided. You have judgment. <laughs> the wheel of fortune. The new beginning. I mean, you know... This is real powerful divine guidance, if ever I saw it. So beautiful energies, but it's only when you clear your mind and allow yourself to release from situations. It's almost like you've been held back like that coiled spring for so long. And then as soon as as soon as you let go of that of that spring, it just flies. You know, you just fly. And I just think that that's what I'm feeling. Flying towards something more solid, more stable. More rewarding as well. More rewarding. Beautiful energies. This can also be good news as well. So powerful. Very powerful. Now we'll talk about these cards. This is standing in your own light. Maybe coming out of a dark period as well for some of you. This is the waking up. This is the wake up call that some of you have needed. I mean, there could be a wake-up call in some respects. 
you may well find that there's some kind of like wake-up call. It could be from arguments and disagreements that you might, or the way that you're being treated in a situation, either in love or in in or in business. And this, you could just literally wake up and say, "This is that's the last straw. I'm just done. I'm done." And that's what I'm feeling right now. That's what I'm feeling. So, and this is all meant to align to your higher path. It says, let go of that negativity of the past. Let go of things that have been holding you back. Because when you do, look how you fly. Look how you fly forward. Beautiful energies. Beautiful energies here. The wheel of fortune turns in your favor. This clears obstacles in your path. Brings good news. Uh, good, well, very, yeah, good news, good fortune. I mean, really powerful energies. Good luck as well. There is some real material success associated, I mean, with this, this reading, definitely. Some of you, I mean, certainly with the Wheel of Fortune, this can connect to material success. It can also be like that open portal to connecting to things that you want to enrich your life with, whether it's love, whether it's business progression, whether it's money, all of that kind of thing. This is what that Wheel of Fortune brings in. It heralds a time where you just feel more complete, when you just feel more satisfied, when you just feel more in your own space than you have done before. So you see the circle, and I'm seeing the circle at the end here. There's lots of circles here. Completions, feeling complete, feeling whole, feeling full. Um, so really powerful card. It is also about divine timing. It said, listen, things might not have worked out in the past, you may well have been up against challenges and been asking for some kind of like divine intervention. Well, this is it. This is divine timing and its work. It's saying, listen, nothing was going to happen in the past because it was never meant to be that way. It was always meant to be this way. It was always going to happen now. But now's the time not to be guarded. Now's the time not to be conflicted. Now's the time not to lower your vibrations here, but just to trust that process because so much good energy is on offer for you. So powerful energies, and it heralds in a wonderful new beginning, beautiful new beginning. You know, this is, you know, uh, card of Pluto, card of Jupiter, from that destruction, from that death, allowing release of a situation, final release. This is something that you won't go back on. This is a final decision on, on, on something that you won't go back on as well. That just redirects you to your, to your higher energy, to your path. And look, you know, this is a really beautiful path to go forward on. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a great day and I'll see you next time. Thank you.